Thirty miles north of New York City, the problems of our violent age are pondered over in one of America's most influential think tanks, the Hudson Institute. In this 19th century mansion, they are looking for alternative futures, both utopian and dystopian. The end product of this think tank, scenarios, scripts for the 21st century. Uh, you know, let's admit that you know, the affluence, the skills, the technology will really make life better in all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we also know these things go badly. Right. Uh, okay, everybody's worried about the, uh, the possibilities of you know, various kinds of social controls and so on. What would the scenario be? Herman Kahn is director of the institute, Tony Wiener his assistant. Uh, it has to involve the, the social controls coming into effect gradually and um, uh, slowly and at each step as a result of some decision which seems to be very much in the general interest. That yeah. is no imposition by um, an evil, uh, evilly intended big brother. How are we going to achieve a utopian peace in our cities even without the bomb? What is the scenario for a utopian peace? To take a black power movement right. and one which really is trying to cause problems but sand in the gears right and you've already set up a good deal of this social uh, watching mm -hmm. you know you've got your tv cameras everywhere you've got your data processing everybody has his id card you've double checked it mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden you've got these guys that are throwing sand in the gears and you clamp down that is you keep track of every car you keep track of every this is easy to do you keep track of uh, 10% or 100% of conversations occur on telephones. Uh, one could, um, with a computer capacity that will be available in the next couple of decades, one could easily record every phone conversation made. And then one could easily scan mechanically, no human being could spend the centuries that would be required. One could scan every conversation looking for keywords that would identify the conversation as uh, worth looking into a little further. So that, for example, uh, one could begin with a naive set of words. Uh, kill, rob, murder, assassinate, plot, uh, conspire. You know, you can do more than that. You can, uh, you could imagine temporarily tranquilizing a whole city. You know, it's been uh, upset, there's been riots. Mm -hmm. You know, let's put trans guards either in the air or in the water. Mm -hmm. You know, just mm -hmm. get people settled down a bit. Uh, I can imagine you could do the preventive medicine going on in this kind of state, mm -hmm. you know, where you really check up with everybody and you see that they keep their drug levels right. Yes. In fact, give, uh, the first thing you do when you go into uh, to work is they punch you and check your blood and see that the drug level is what it's supposed to be. So you'll, you'll buy the safety uh, of your city at the expense of the privacy of individuals. And for most people, most of the time, uh, the intrusion will not be the kind of thing they'd be conscious of. So the scenario for a utopia without violence is achieved at the expense of your private life. 